I haven't bought a knife under 50 bucks in like three years. You know what's something that I've never done on my channel is a QA. and a And I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I should have done one of these a long time ago. So I went on Instagram and I typed out, send me some of your questions and you guys pulled through. You guys sent me some really great questions and any additional questions, you can put them down in the comments for the next video. So let's kick things off. My boy, Braun, Barbarian Brawny asks, what is your favorite thing to photograph? That's kind of tough, man. Um, I like photographing a lot of things. I guess if I had to put it in my career, I like to photograph wildlife a ton. I am an animal lover and it was just a really cool experience that I was able to have. If it comes to my hobbies, I love photographing knives, of course. Product photography is my jam. I love setting up little scenarios in my flat lays and in my head I kind of come up with stories when I'm setting up my shots so knives and wildlife pretty much sums me up. My boy Anthony AGP inspired asked favorite blade of all time and that is tough man that is tough to answer I don't want to hurt any maker's feelings it's kind of tough um instead of it being favorite I'm gonna go ahead and 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 kind of dodge your question a little bit by saying what is the most sentimental knife for me and that would probably be my Benchmade Mini Crooked River. It was the first knife that Lexi ever bought me. My girlfriend, she bought it over Christmas. It was our first Christmas together too. So that is one of my most sentimental knives. Don't make me choose a favorite knife, man. Chris over at House of Blades, make sure you guys check him out on Instagram and go follow House of Blades, man. They're great people and I'm really looking forward to checking them out at Blade Atlanta. Chris asks, what got you into knives and EDC? What got me into EDC is it's kind of a two part answer. Number one, growing up, my old man always carried some sort of knife or tools with him because he is a, pretty much like a self-made handyman. My dad, I could ask him to fix anything in this house and my dad would take a crack at it. And he always had tools on him when he worked and he always made sure to make it a very important point that I was always prepared for whatever happened. Yeah, I always have a toolbox in my car now. I always have some sort of little pouch in there too, just because you never know. So my old man is the man who got me into being prepared, who got me into EDC in the aspect of like social media and YouTube. Definitely Peter McKinnon and his videographer, Kirk. My handle, Captain Ricky, was inspired by Kirk because I was like, hey man, this is another videographer and he's posting like photos about the stuff in his pockets. Like this is super cool. So once I saw that Kirk had an Instagram dedicated to EDC, it inspired me to create my own. And I'm so glad I did, man. I, I, I wouldn't have known any of you guys if I hadn't jumped into the Instagram EDC world. So super grateful. Handcheck underscore said tips for beginners because I started EDC just for fun and now I can't stop it. I always want more. Send help. I feel you, bro. I think we all, we all want more. So I totally feel you. Um, my biggest tip would be take a moment to slow down and narrow into what you really like. My boy Ron Kwok made a video about this at Blade Show Texas, which I'll, I'll link down below. But it was really refreshing to just be able to have that conversation because when I first started in the EDC world, I was very lucky to meet people who are very experienced and they were able to give me their knowledge and help me make informed purchases versus like going through the trial of buying 50 knives, you know, 50 budget knives, let's say, and only liking one out of the 50. Like, yes, I think you should go out there and experiment, but as you're going out there and experimenting, definitely take the time to kind of narrow in on, on what you like, what you don't like, what materials would you prefer? Um, what kind of work are you going to be doing with your knives? Are you just cutting boxes? Or are you doing hardcore work? Just try and educate yourself as much as you can because down the road, that'll probably save you a lot of money. Believe me, I wish I would have taken that advice myself. <laughs> Hawk underscore EDC asks, what was your biggest motivation starting a YouTube channel on EDC gear? Kind of playing off the other one. Peter McKinnon, of course, did like his pocket check video. So that was an inspiration. But I actually, the first person I started watching EDC content on YouTube was Best Damn EDC. Taylor Martin. I don't even remember how I got to it. I think I might have been looking up like best wallet or something like that. And I found this channel and then I found that he was showing off different people's gears. And then that kind of just sucked me into the rabbit hole. And it wasn't until I think roughly COVID time 
where I decided, you know what, maybe I should like do video work on, on, on myself, on my knives and what I think about them. Um, just cause I feel like there's a big need for that kind of stuff. You know, knife reviewing is super fun, but being able to connect with makers and provide them beautiful, high quality videos of their work and just having those conversations, um, is super cool. So that inspired me to make EDC YouTube videos. Sawtooth Knife and Tool asks, how many knives in your collection so far? This is the biggest my knife collection has been in probably two years. Um, I went through a massive purge to buy the camera that I'm shooting on now and a ton of gear for my videography career. Um, I think I am very close to about 20 knives right now. I know, knife elitist, oh my god. He has 20 knives and like $15,000. Yeah, I know, knife elitist. Vault underscore tech underscore EDC asks, first high-end knife you bought? First high-end knife I bought? I guess it depends on what you mean by high-end knife. The very first super expensive knife I bought, which was $200, was the Mordax by Protec. I bought it on Amazon. That was back when they still had them on there. And it was just terrifying. I was like, oh my God, I just spent $200 on a knife. Like, what have I done? <laughs> but I'm so glad I did. It's such a phenomenal knife and I'm happy to have another one in the collection. The most expensive knife I've bought so far, um... I'd probably have to say it's been either my Arius or my McNeese prototype, which was about 900 bones. Yeah, I'm in deep. The Super Dave, my boy. Uh, what other hobby or interest do you have that has been aided or improved by your EDC? Um, a couple months ago, I finished up my career working at a safari and EDC helped me out a ton. I was using my Leatherman all the time, whether it was fixing enclosures or having to build enclosures. So that job definitely aided, was aided by my EDC. Um, otherwise, I'm still a freelance videographer and I travel. So having things like a pry bar helps me set up tripods and set up rigs. So videography is also aided by my EDC, not as like hardcore of a use, but yeah. My, my, pretty much my videography career has been aided by EDC. Ted Howells asks, you're only allowed one full EDC for the rest of your life. What is it? Man, you're really going to make me get into specifics right now, Ted? Come on, bro. <laughs> um, flashlight, a pry bar, a knife, a good wallet, and a slip joint. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm in that phase, man. I'm dedicated. Those are, are that would be my full kit. What knives I would bring? What if pry bar and pen? I'm not gonna get into that. That's, 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 that's an argument waiting to happen. My boy Ron Quack, live with purpose EDC. What's your hair care look like? My hair care is non-existent, boys. I know, I know. I get compliments on my hair all the time and I'm honestly confused by it. I don't think my hair looks that great, but I appreciate you, Ron. I really do. I, I mostly just shampoo and then I condition it and I comb it in the shower to get all the knots out and then I let it air dry, you know? And that's, and that's, how, that's how this happened. Thanks for noticing, Ron. I am so happy to see my boy Ian on this list. And he writes, Who is one person you look up to in the EDC community that isn't EDM or Pete? This is a multiple choice answer, Ian. It's a multiple choice answer. I respect my boy Marine X. His content, it's next level. He's authentic. He's himself. He's fucking funny. Like, the dude is just a great time to watch on YouTube. Super stoked to meet him at Blade. Uh, Braun is also super inspirational. Mikey is super inspirational. Best at EDC. Anybody that I've met that has a YouTube channel inspires me because they're out there creating and that's what I want to do. I love making videos. Like, it is my passion. If I could do one thing that just makes me super happy is editing content, taking photos, and just showing off super cool gear. So, I'm sorry, Ian. It's I can't just narrow it down to one person. I hope you understand. Please don't hate me. I'm sorry, Ian. <laughs> EDC James asks, favorite knife under 50 bucks? James, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I haven't bought a knife under 50 bucks in like three years. I know, I'm so sorry. I gotta dive into budget knives. I know I have to. I, I, I hate myself, like Marine would say. Um, ah, man, uh, maybe like my Kershaw Clash. It was the first like EDC knife that I bought myself. It was an assisted flipper, which was really cool. Sharp as hell, because I cut myself on it way too many times, like more times than I am embarrassed to say. But the Kershaw Clash 
Um, the baby banter is right there. It's like 60 bucks. So the baby banter would be definitely on that list. Um, if you just pushed it up by like 10 bucks. Chief Sid and Bones asked, what grail items are you hoping to get your hands on in 2023? Um, more custom knives. I really got to get into, into some customs. It's just like such a big asking point. You know what I mean? Like custom knives is like diving into a very deep end of a pool that I don't think I'm financially ready for, but I love certain makers production stuff. And if their production stuff is so good, I can only imagine that their customs are like incredibly, incredibly better or, or, or yeah, incredibly better. Um, so I would want to get my hands on on more customs this year. My wallet's not ready for it, so I'm probably not ready for it either. And last, but definitely not least, who is Eggroll? My boy Joe, my buddy, my best friend, my pal, my neighbor. Who is your first love on Instagram? It was you, Joe. You were my first love. You got me blushing and gushing over here. <laughs> That's a great question. I, I expect nothing else from you, Joe. <laughs> That is it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of cool laid back video. Uh, like I said before, if you have any questions that you want answers to, drop them down below. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, I'll definitely make some more. I think this was super fun to do and I'll catch you guys on the next one.